Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Naya Slivers because it's Friday and that's what we do. All right, we've got a hand here. And I think we can keep. This is reasonable. Our mana is right, so we're just going to call green with the Thriving Heath. They've got an angel, Flying Vigilance Angel. Green. Go. This is going to be like a life gain deck or something like that. It's Foji and Angel. What did I just go up against that had that? I don't remember. Just went up a deck, up against a deck that had it. Oh, is it just the mono white aggro? I hate mono white aggro. So scary when they got that death blade guy out turn one. All right, flying first strike vigilance. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Getting lots of lords. That's nice. Uh, we're just gonna play a lord. Set up a little bit, then drop a gem hide and go off with that. That's not good either. So this is mono white bogles, man. <laughs> Just mono white bogles. Don't tell me you got another ethereal in your hand. That would be gnarly. Okay, we go to 14. At this point, I think we just need to try to start getting stuff out really fast. So we're just going to go gem hide into a plated. Pass. Can't attack in yet, so we just gotta build our board until we can. <clears throat> I still gotta record my Doom play Doom gameplay today and I'm losing my voice. What the heck? Oh gosh, six six vigilance trample mother fricker. Not trample first strike. Ah, uh, we're just gonna get wrecked, dude. We're just getting stomped. He had the hand, man. He had the hand. More than likely, we're dead next turn. <laughs> um, let's just go ahead and get our lords out. Can't even block if we wanted to. They were just too fast. We might be able to get away with one more turn. Maybe... Uh, who knows, man? Who knows? Let's see, if we get a Lord, we actually could win still. They need to not kill us next turn with their four cards in hand. <laughs> All it takes is one enchantment, one something, and we're done. But if they don't, then we might be okay. Uh, but we are definitely dead. Okay. Go into game two. Bring in Prismatic, since we're mono coloring here. Hunter, Hunter, can we race to get them off the board with Hunter? Spinneret, yes. Sentinel out. I guess we can bring it in. I don't think the swift responses are going to be great, considering they need to tap, and if they throw on a Vigilance, it's just done. Maybe we just do one. Cut a gem. Cut a hunter. Debating on this hunter. Um, let's see. Cut a winding. We need to cut one more thing. Maybe we just don't go swift response. Hunter, we at least know we can kill them no matter what. If we have the provoke set up right, swift response is more situational and they need to tap. Hmm. Yeah. I... Let me know what you guys think. Would you bring a swift response against this deck? I, I'm taking it out just because it seems like they have multiple cards that give vigilance and then swift response is just dead at that point. Uh, but we will play first. This is a great hand. It's what you like to see. 
Three lords of gem high to plate it and all the mana you need. Just don't want to see a death blade. We are on the play, so we can outpace it a little bit. No turn one play. How interesting. Let's just put down a lord. We'll set up for a better gem hide. Mana tithe. Mana tithe. Oh my gosh, dude. You're kidding me. I got got. I just got got. I have not seen that played in Popper in a long time. Typically people aren't running it, but they got me. Oh, they got me. Holy cow. All right, we can deal with that. Heart Sliver is pretty nice. I do like that, so I can go Gem Hide. Gem Hide into Sidewinder. I want to play this Gem Hide so we can set up for a nasty turn. Yeah, let's just take a turn off. Let's just get some boards down. All right. See, there's that Vigilance. So he's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Got another one. Oh, gosh. Hyena Umbra is good. Owie. Well, let's just play out what we can play out, I suppose. We got one flanking, so it's going to become a 4-4. Four, four. Not good enough. We'll pass. Unfortunate. We need to find our spinner at ASAP. Oh, spinner at where art thou? So we can block the sky guard if need be. Five cards in hand still. Oh my gosh. That mana tithe. That mana tithe really uh, helped them out a lot. Took out one of our lords. Could have some uh, four fives right now. That could at least be able to attack into the sky guard. Another hyena umbra. Not pretty. That's why I want my lifelink back. We are taking seven. <laughs> we gonna die. What can you do? I mean, we had decent hands. It's just we can't interact with it, this thing at all. Uh, just based on not being able to uh, find something to block flying. Muscle. So you can block two, and then uh, you take... 8, 16, 20. Well, that was actually the best draw we could have asked for. You don't get lifelink, right? No. That's why Heart Sliver is great in this deck. Because it just can ink out that little bit of last damage. Oh, they do have lifelink. They got the Sacred Cat. Oh, but we're still hitting for 20. Yep. 
Yep, and Fight King's gonna get rid of it anyways. Oh, this says First Strike. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I forgot it had First Strike. Um, but... We're still alive, and there's really nothing else we could do. So they can embalm the Sacred Cat. And again, it's just we just come down to the same thing as last turn. We're gonna, I forgot they had the first strike. That's my bad. Uh, but it comes down to the same thing. They just need one freaking thing, and then it's over. And it's over. Couldn't have stopped it. There's nothing we could have done differently. Unfortunately. We just gonna take it, and I want to see what we would have gotten. A thriving Heath. Oh my gosh, land for days. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, it's a good deck. Mono White has been. It's a struggle for us to beat Mono White, actually. It really is. But uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And remember, Tron and Combo Dummies, keep away, keep away.